Hi, and welcome to an all new HDDR Entertainment yeah. Airsoft video. Okay. As my previous one, <laughs> this video features some footage from Assignment Vengeance hosted by Airsofters.nl on September the 14th. During the entire morning of this event, our team, the New Order, was pinned down and had to defend our own base. I at the start of the, the afternoon, the however, my buddies and I decided to give a shot at stealing some in-game items so you at least had something to defend. Since the squad of our team went further down the road, I chose a different path to cover the entire area. Since I'm a regular at this field, I know a good route to take. During our movement through the dense bushes, I stop for a minute to check if there is any activity noticeable. We decide to further use the most outboard road and tell my teammates to get some distance between each other. That way, when one of us gets ambushed, we still have a fighting chance to win the battle. During our movement, our commander asks other squads about the status and position. This is all hearable in Dutch through the comms. We are now entering a more open route. I chose this route since it is quiet and easy to walk. I do not suspect opponents here, so being spotted isn't of our concern. Since I know the terrain, I already picked a place to enter the woods again. A place that gives a good view on what we suspect is the opposing team's base. We silently move through the bushes as we check if there is any activity to be seen. We enter the building that is presumed to be the opposing team's base, but see it's rather extinct. Still I check every room just in case. I whispered to my teammates that this isn't their HQ, 
I'm whispering since I suspect the actual HQ can be far away. We move silently around the building until we hear some voice chatter nearby. It is now clear to us that the actual base is the next small building coming up. We decide to move swiftly now. Pointman Joost takes the inside of the building while Randy and I take the outside. Yours quickly obliterates the opponents. Since I noticed the opposing team's commander, I move towards him and ask for his coin. Collecting it will grant our team some points. During the collection, I ask the other players if some of them have coins too. People carrying coins have to stay on the place for 20 seconds after we hit. During that time, we are allowed to collect their coin. During my collection round, my teammates have obtained some in-game items. I grab one too, and we decide to get the hell out of here. At this point, one of the persons counting down hands me the coin he owed to me. <laughs> While getting out of the base, I tell our teammate Randy to leave the blue barrel and carry another item Joost can give to him. Although the blue barrel is an item, it doesn't have any value, since the vehicle which could be used when the opponents have this barrel is out of order due to malfunctions. We move back nearly the same way as we came, but now with a faster pace. Helemaal buiten om Joost. The players to my left are shooting in the off-game area and therefore do not pose a threat. Upon entering the woods, I tell you to shout the team's color when entering the hill that's up ahead. Since we don't want to be shot by teammates, we have set up a defensive position at that point. Hill coming through! Randy tells me that the current pace is too fast. He has a nasty injury, so I tell him to slow down. We are, as I hope, nearly in our own territory, so there isn't a real need to hurry. That's how we roll. We move past the defending squad, while I tell them about the stolen items. Bijna een beest, ja. We now enter a paved road that lies directly next to our base and with this the video is over. I thank you all for watching, you're welcome to like, comment and subscribe so I know how to improve my videos and I have a reason to doing so. Meanwhile, you can check out my previous video.